I might get done today. But the Lord hath need of them. The Lord hath need, and the great need is for, for the people to get a new vision of Jesus, to see him as he is to be seen. Amen. And to really give up to him, to really to surrender. I surrender all. We need to be just as pliable as that mule. And he will take us, and he'll make us able. So what kind of people turn, turn the world upside down? After the, the lame man was healed at that gate called Beautiful, you remember the story? They brought Peter and John before the council after this happened. They brought Peter and John before the council. In Acts chapter 4, it says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. Hold on. Like, ah, this kind of stuff's going to make, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. If I, if I have to close, I have to close. I'll finish tonight or something. Watch this. Well, you know, I, I, I was really not any good at school, and I'm really not this. I really can't remember scripture, and, and I really can't. Fine. Just to be clear, that, that mule can't even read. What you're really saying is you don't want to obey God. You don't want to submit. You, are you getting what I'm saying? If the mule can do it, so can you. Come on. We are in a trying time. These are, what, what's it? These are perilous times, right? Perilous times. We are in a time when the enemy of souls wants to turn our minds off the real source of power. God still says, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And Jesus said, follow me. And I will, I was, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Well, I, you know, I'm really not really good at, you know, about with people. And, you know, I can't remember scripture. Right? Would you stop it to just believe God instead of, instead of putting all your confidence or your lack thereof in and of yourself? Stop it. Receive the Holy Spirit. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you've been saved? Are you not seeing the reason we need the Holy Spirit? Follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. What are we going to do with these scriptures? What are we going to do with the verses? Sisters, brothers, they were not only fishers of men, but they caught them. Now, now Jesus can do more with one man who is truly sold out to him. He can. He can do a whole lot more with one man who's truly sold out. Who has faith and has confidence that he can do anything that the Lord asks him to do. That he can do, listen, that he can with, uh, with a dozen of, uh, what, what, wow, what if he had a dozen of people who actually believed God? What could he accomplish? What's it say? You know, if um, the, the prayer of the righteous man avails much, what happens if you've got more than one person, you go two people, you go ten people, and the prayer of these righteous people get, begin to pray. And now they pray, but they begin to move in the spirit. They begin to reach out. They begin to touch some people. They began fishing, and at that moment, can I tell you, they're gonna catch them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You see, we are weak in and of ourselves. Certainly, if you are, are going into some line of work where you need education, get all that you can. But brothers and sisters, if you're going to preach the gospel, get a hold of God and make sure you have a divine call. Jesus said, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and I have ordained you. That you should go and that you should bring forth fruit. Amen. Second Kings chapter 2. It's a pretty familiar text. It's helped me a lot of times. Elisha wanted something. Elisha wanted a double portion. He wanted two scoops of what Elijah has. And nothing could separate him from Elijah. See, if you want to get a lot of help, in becoming a preacher and becoming a minister, find an old pastor who's true blue, who preaches doctrine, who still listen, who is who, and stick close to that person. As a matter of fact, some of us might need to stick closer to the church that we're in right now. 
In any case, Elisha stood the test. And you know what God did? God gave him the desire of his heart, a double portion of Elijah's spirit. He said, well, that's just too much for me. Well, fine. Then what we need to do is we need to look up. How many of you know help is on the horizon? Unless it's already here. I'll say it again. Help is on the horizon unless it's already here. He is here. Hallelujah. Some of us we should write, well, he's there. Because he's not here. No way. He is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Amen. He is here. Holy, holy. I will bless his name again. Wow. All we need to do is look up. The Lord hath need today. The Lord hath need now. He needs men and women who will, will come just as they are. Just as I am without one plea, but blood was shed for me. Do you believe that this morning? Yes. Jesus can do more for someone, listen, with someone who is sold out than with someone who is sitting out. He needs men who will come just as they are. And they need to recognize this fact. God has chosen them with their eyes off of everything else. And fix your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the cares of the earth grow strangely dim. Look to Jesus. And believe this, Philippians 4, 13 says, I can, I can, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Jesus, you call, I, I can, because I know you're going to go with me. Here it is, walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I can, so I don't have to fear any evil. Why? Because you're going to be with me. Amen. I am more than a conqueror. I'm victorious. I wish I could say that with more confidence. Come on. We need to get our eyes back on Jesus. The devil is causing us to look around way too much. Did you see the post on Facebook? Did you hear what the news said? Did you hear that tweet or Twitter? Did you hear this? Did you hear that? Did you hear Jesus? Uh, who? Just to be clear, I hear all this stuff. And sometimes, can I get a witness? Sometimes it's hard to hear Jesus through all that stuff. Can, can I get an amen? Sometimes it, all this clutter, and we get this, it's too easy for us to get cluttered, is it not? You can get cluttered all, uh, I, oh my gosh. Anywhere you go today with your smartphone, tablets, internet, Wi-Fi, everybody's connected. <laughs> it's like we've got, all our, we, we've got all our septic tanks connected together. <laughs> and we get to see everybody else's garbage. I don't need to see that, amen? Let me get back on task. The task, of course, is to look up to Jesus. Lift your heads. Look, Jesus. Look to him. He's looking for you. You know, I want to say again that the Lord hath need. The work of the church is suffering for the need of men who will truly give up and let Jesus take over. Give up and let Jesus take over. 